girls welcome to your general reading for april if you're new welcome and please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the readings i post each month if you already know me welcome back i'll leave information for what decks of cards i use in the description box along with um how to contact me for personal readings we already have two cards jump out here. Okay. Communicate clearly and romance here. Okay. So this is about um, a romance that's about to restart or start imminently. Okay. And the advice here is communicate clearly. Just be honest and upfront of what you want. A lot of us do tell little white lies in the beginning or something. But here, just be open. Be honest. Um... And be honest with yourself, what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. You know, um, don't let people cross your boundaries, especially if it's a new relationship, because we build habits then, learning people how to treat us. But it does seem that um, a romance is imminent. Somebody could be about to communicate with you. So let's see here what we have for Virgos during April. Let's see. Ooh, the devil. It could be a Capricorn that's coming forward to talk to you now. Um, this is a lot of um, strong energy that's around right now. So it could even be you're feeling quite lustful and things like that. And you could be communicating with somebody. Um, a lot of sexy text, shall we say. Um, you know, it's just that desire and that strong feelings and connections here being built up. Ooh, the Seven of Cups. So you could have offers here. But again, with this communication and these cards here combined together, it could be you using your imagination. Um, <clears throat> yeah, or dreams, shall we say. Um, so if you're dreaming um, quite lustfully, <laughs> shall we say, um, you might be dreaming about who's coming towards you here because we have the King of Wands now jump out as well. Again, a lot of passionate energy here in this reading, Virgos. But this is somebody now taking action, coming forward with that offer. I feel like it's an offer you can't resist with the devil card here. It's being tempted by somebody. Um, and a romance beginning. Yeah, four of cups. An offer that you just don't see coming right now. You may be bored at home. Um, eight of wands. Again, with the texts here. The flirting and the funness. I love it. So... You know, this is an offer you're not seeing coming. You could be just laying around bored and just playfully texting somebody. Um, not really having anybody or expecting anybody to come into your life. But the Eight of Wands is Cupid shooting his arrows. This is the ball getting moving for romance here with you. So, again, the Seven of Cups can indicate... Um, being confused whether you're going to get the offer or not or not even seeing it coming at all because the seven of cups visually would be like fog not being able to see through it so needing to use your imagination or intuition okay but yeah this is definitely shoot somebody shooting their shot here with you go ahead have fun why not <laughs> why not when in rome <laughs> let's see Queen of Swords. Ooh, you might be a bit standoffish, playing hard to get or something here. I feel like this is your energy. I don't feel like, you know, you're being mean to people. I feel like you've learned some tough lessons in life. So they might perceive you as cold, but I feel like this is just wise, right? You've been in hermit mode. You're ascending. You're learning your lessons here. I just seen down here some fog. Um, so, but I feel like this is you with your guard up. Um, so maybe you don't see them coming and that's why they get past your guard here. But it could be an air sign for some of you, okay? As we do have fire signs here. We do have earth and water. So all the signs generally come out. I just know some people prefer to mention the signs. Okay, this has jumped off. Birth in a new age, yeah. Um, so some a new beginning coming there. Two of pentacles. So it can feel like maybe in the romance department, you're taking two steps forward and three steps back. Um, but at least it's progress, right? <laughs> 
I, I definitely feel like you need to make a decision whether to um, be in the past or be in the future. Don't be half in both, right? Because it's getting nowhere. Two steps forward, three steps back, like I said. Um, it gets you nowhere. So make a solid decision with the two of pentacles that you either want a new love or you want an old love, okay? Doesn't matter which it is. We ha all have free will for you. If As long as your heart's set on it, that's what's coming in with the romance card. Something is imminent now. And it's strong. It's something that you can't let go of. So if it was somebody you was waiting for, they've taken a long time with this Knight of Pentacles. Again, like a strong indi uh, indication of another Earth sign here. Um, you guys are Earth as well, so you should know it takes you some time. <laughs> So don't be so hard on if you're dealing with another earth sign or a person who's coming towards you very slowly. Um, they're very cautious and scared. They don't know how to approach you. So maybe they find you so desirable and so attractive with the devil card here that they don't know how to ask you out. Or it could be that if you have a history with this person, there was some sort of devil energy, maybe even another person with the seven of cups here. And that's why they don't know how to approach you here. And, and maybe an indication on why you might be a bit cold. But you're actually open to hearing them out with the queen of swords energy because she's quite fair. Okay, so she's fair and balanced and educated. But having her self-respect, she gets... Um, a bad rep, the Queen of Swords, but it's somebody who's respecting themselves, okay? So it's showing you're respecting yourself now. King of Swords, okay? So this is somebody you're destined to be with showing up as the same suit partners here. So um, it could be that you had somebody before and they had somebody before and you'll share a lot in common here. Um, for me, this can even indicate Twin Flames, King and Queen of Swords in a reading. Um, so it could show that you've both been through different things and understanding that it took a long time for them to return or you to return because you had your own things to deal with, your own life path. Everybody does. Okay, so I feel like there'd be more balance now. You're on more equal pegging. So they would have learned their lesson. You would have learned your lesson. Maybe you met as teenagers and then come together uh, later in life or you had a relationship two years ago and then you know you both had to work things out and then come back together it can be many scenarios as it is a general reading take what resonates and leave what doesn't the magician but it's like um love's about to begin here something magical is in the air for you and it's going to happen you're going to manifest this love in your life now or this person. It's like you're calling in your soulmate here. They're manifesting. They're going to show up here in front of your face. Good luck, Virgos. <laughs>